I'm about to have me a freaking flaking good freaking time. Uh, I just found a bunch of uh, potentials here in this little area. I was going to move out and change my mind real quick. Now look at this one right here. Now that looks like a freaking, looks like a cat print on the mud on this stone. That's the reason I grabbed this one. Anyway, let me see. Let me look at this one. This one's already cracked. I wonder what's in there. Just want to get some examples real quick. Let me see. Look at this. Looks like a snake right here. This freaking stick. This freaking Definitely a flaker. Some better stone. Knocking. This ball smells kind of weird. Hmm. It's two different kind of rock in one. Sometimes those work out, sometimes they don't. Ow. Look at that, there's a bunch of freaking crystal in there. Damn, man. Freaking won't stop bleeding. Yeah, crystal in there, too. And this freaking, uh, I think I got a splinter in there piece of stone let's see this one right here anyway look there's what it looks like on the inside see this one right here oh yeah one hit there's way more here than I can uh, process anyway but I figured I'd set up shop for a quick second This one's kind of crumbly, though. Now, this one. Ow. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, this. look at this one. It's really sedimenty. You can see the layers in it. It's almost like a spear tip. Uh, so, definitely you can find the ones with flakes like that, with the grain, and they're normally good to go. But, you know, different rocks have different kind of quality, like the stress they can take and how they break and so forth. Let's see. non-consistent breaking pattern those you'll get a lot more wasted stuff like you know, they don't turn out so well but uh, use this one. See if I can just bust this fucker in half somehow. Hmm. Had me a nice little napper. I'm 
freaking working on at the moment. I had more freaking pockets. Uh, Cause there's a lot of good material out here. Anyway, I'm gonna save some freaking more space, man. Later, peeps.